I thought I'd give a uh, little overview of my setup here with the ladder line and the uh, ATU 4K by uh, True Ladder Line. Really, really nice setup. Anyway, that's up there about 46 feet, and this is 450 on line. Now I've got this laying horizontal. I did this originally uh, for testing to see how everything was going to work out. Um, and I'm kind of like actually just leaving it the way it is on this little uh, 2 by 4 stand. Uh, I have added a little bit of, uh, of Gorilla Tape here as uh, to shield the rain. So when the rain comes down it just kind of kind of just falls off of this and it doesn't get around the the joint here and then this is this is actually um the case when you open it it actually has a rubber gasket in there so it, it's fine and the other side of the unit and uh, same here these are the two cat five lines coming in and the coax connector uh, i have this covered with temflex and then just electrical tape on top of the temflex that provides a great uh, seal for the rain and I also, for the Cat 5, I also added some grommets here. And here's another look at the uh, ladder line going up. Seems to be performing pretty well. And one of my uh, legs is over here. It's a 25 foot uh, push up mass from DX Engineering. And then I have the same thing uh, going on the other side of the property here. And yes, I do have bees. So the uh, tuner is very well protected from uh, anybody messing with it. <laughs> just a uh, quick little video on how I'm using the uh, ATU controller. Okay, just as an example, I'm on 15 meters right here. And let's say that I wanna go to the CW portion of the band. What I can do is just flip over to my analyzer, switch that, turn my analyzer on, and I'm gonna go do an SWR chart, hit okay. Let's go frequency enter to 20, uh, let's go 20, oops, back up. 21, well, let's just say uh, 030 CW portion. And hit OK. Now let's go ahead and scan that. And you'll see it's a nice minimum right here in the uh, CW portion of the band. There we go. That, so this is all the 15 meters right here, the blue. And you'll see the nice dip for the CW portion. Now, let's say I want to go to uh, the sideband portion. All I have to do is uh, tap my memory right here. You'll see right away. It's doing its thing. There it is. It's moved. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, rescan, and voila. Then we're ready to switch it over, and off we go. What you do is you hit the capacitor and the inductor buttons. This is uh, increase up here, and then decrease down below. It's as simple as that. You can adjust these back and forth to get what you need. And then, of course, uh, as you see here, the memories. There's uh, four memories. Uh, with a single tap and then a double tap will give you um, the other four. So it cycles back one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. Starting with a five, you'd have to do a double tap. And you have a total of uh, 16 memories total. This is bank two. You can have a bank one and then have another eight for that bank. So you get a fair amount. Uh, let's go ahead and fine tune it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the tune button. And we'll see the SWR 1.22. So what I'm going to do is hit the increase and decrease. So I'm going to start with the capacitor. What I'll do is hit the, uh, change the capacitance a bit. Oh, that's changing it pretty fast. There we go. So you get an idea. You can just pulse these, uh, the values here. One point. Let's see if we can tune it out just a little better with the inductor. And I'll call that good for now. So, let me get that off. So, that gives you an idea.
it's really uh, pretty quick to to set um, your SWR correctly, and then you can just go ahead and memorize the channel. And let's uh, finally just show uh, kind of a real life scenario here with some real RF going out. We're at 7.2, and I'm gonna go ahead and enable the amplifier, put that into operate, and our power is now at, uh, at 20 watts. Kind of hard to see here maybe on the video. And I'll go ahead and hit the tune. And we're getting uh, about a kilowatt. And you'll notice the SWR is staying real nice, 1.11. And uh, nice rock solid. Now if we want to, I can increase the power a bit as this has no problem going up to full legal limit. As you can see, and it can do that for quite a long time. It is very, very rock solid. Anyway, that's it.